Tyler, what's the emotion right now at the at the moment? Is it frustration, disappointment, um, without having a full roster? Sort of, as it ends, what's the in the moment thought about how it played out? Uh, I mean, you know, credit to to Boston. You know, they took care of business. Um, you know, I felt like we've had you know different parts throughout the series where we could have kind of grabbed a hold of it and. Um, made it more of a series, but you know, hats off to them. Like I said, they made the right plays on both ends. They outplayed us and they won the series. Uh, I know you guys aren't making excuses for this, but how tough for the injuries to navigate throughout the series, throughout the season, obviously as well, but throughout the series. And then Jaime goes out last game. And just how, how tough was all the different lineups, all the different combinations you guys have yeah, to use? Uh, no, I think you know that's just how our season went the whole year, uh, from top to bottom, and. Um, you know, it's not an excuse. Um, I feel like we had enough throughout this series to, you know, at least win more than one game. Um, but like I said, hats off to Boston. They made plays on both ends. They made it tough on us. Um, thought we played, you know, decent defense, good enough defense through the first four games, and um, we weren't able to generate enough offense to compete with them. What was it like for you being cast as? not only a leading man, but basically the only shot creator available for most of the series, and especially going against an elite defensive team like the Celtics. What was it like, that upgrade and what was asked of you, and also what the Celtics sort of put you through with their defense? Yeah, uh, no, it was fun. You know, I haven't, obviously haven't looked back on the whole series. It just ended, but I feel like I'm going to be able to take away a lot from how they guarded me throughout, you know, the whole series. Um, you know, with the face guards, um, you know, double teams, switches, um, really crowding the paint, you know, when I when I did get in the paint and then, you know, just really making it tough on me at all times, not allowing me to kind of see one go through to catch a rhythm. Um, I thought they did a great job, but at the end of the day, it'll make me better, make my team better. And um, I'm excited to get to work, you know, this off season. There's probably no harder moment than the final moment of a season, especially for a team that's played so deep in the playoffs so often. What was it like this run against Boston being shorthanded, going against an ultra elite team and sort of what's the the ending emotion of these two weeks? Uh, we've learned a lot of lessons through this through this playoff series, you know, obviously including myself, but like the younger guys actually, you know, feel what it's like to be in a playoff series. Understand how locked in you have to be, the details that you have to, you know, you have to have throughout the game. Uh, <clears throat> and, you know, going out there and actually executing your plan. Uh, so, you know, we learned a lot, a lot of lessons through this, through this series. And what was your, your approach entering tonight? It seemed like you were on the way to play 48 minutes and you were ultra aggressive tonight. What was just your approach entering tonight's game? I mean, going into the game, it's an elimination game. The backs against the wall. Uh, you know, everybody counting us out, you know, guys injured, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, I'm still available to play. I'm going to be aggressive and go out there and give everything I got. I know it's early, but how would you sum up the entirety of the season um, based not as much just on the result to today, but what transpired the last six months? Uh, I would say we've gained a lot of mental toughness uh, going through ups and downs, guys being out, uh, <clears throat> learning how to win with, you know, 50 different starting lineups. Uh, and going through that, I feel like not only, you know, helped me as a as a captain to understand that, you know, the ship's gonna get rocky sometimes. Uh, so for for us, I feel like it was just it just taught us about mental toughness this year. Bam, you you had a conversation there at the end of the game with Jason Tatum. Just what was your message for for him? Uh, that had nothing to do with basketball. You know, me and, JT, me and JT have known each other since we were 12. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we, we, we grew up watching each other strive in this league. And, uh, 
you know, it's always goes down to we always gonna end up seeing each other at some time, at some point in, you know, postseason, wherever that may be. And it's always just having a conversation, you know, nothing to do with basketball. Uh, that's really what that was. Yeah, game two, the you, you and Tyler like had it going. Their guards were getting picked off under screens. Their bigs were kind of confused on the coverages. How do you feel like they adjusted both in the ways they tried to like disrupt Tyler's movement and also how they were able to get around you? Uh, they definitely got him out of his rhythm, you know, sending them different coverages, pressing them full court. Uh, <clears throat> and, you know, uh, it just took him out of his rhythm. Uh, for me, you know, I guess I could have set better screens. Uh, <laughs> but it's all in context of the game, man. You know, I don't think what they did to Tyler dictated a lot of what happened out there. Uh, I feel like it was the other end. When uh, Porzingis got hurt, what opportunity did you feel like you guys had in the series? And how do you feel like they respond, especially with their, their bigs? Um, you know, I don't think it mattered if he played or not. <laughs> uh, we were still going to get our looks. We were still going to be aggressive. We were still going to put our heads down. 